women allowed to travel by themselves. Scholars have differed over this issue classically, and the conclusion is that as long as three conditions are met, it is permissible for her to travel by herself. Number one is that it should be an act which is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning that the reason why she is traveling is something that she's trying to incur reward for by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for example, if someone's going to go visit their parents, going to visit someone that is sick, or even earn a halal risk, then this would be a noble intention. Number two is that the journey time should be less than a day and a night meaning that the time that she is traveling should be less than 24 hours. And in most cases nowadays, that will be the case. And number three, the presumption of her safety, meaning that as she's traveling, there shouldn't be a risk of her being harmed or being robbed. And as long as those three conditions are met, then it is permissible for her to travel by herself. We still encourage sisters to travel in groups if possible though. Subscribe to this channel, share this video, and click on the bell icon so that you can be notified with every new video at Faith IQ. Jazakallah khairan wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.